Now that we know what makes up a search API response, it is time to see how it can be leveraged to build fast and powerful front-end search experiences. In this video, we will explain the two most popular search patterns on the web today, then we will introduce the libraries we've built to help you implement those search patterns easily and following the best practices. Autocomplete drop-down menus. Drop-down menus are one of the best known search UI options. While barebone drop-downs won't offer an incredible search experience, they can easily be customized and turned into very rich and powerful components. Drop-downs are best used in cases where search should be accessible on multiple pages of your website. The search box is in those cases usually part of the navigation bar. Because of the stacked cell nature of the drop-down, this usually won't accommodate well with larger images. Drop-down menus also are a great option to display multiple types of results for a single search. By querying different algolia indices with the same user query, you can then easily segment the drop-down either vertically or horizontally to build rich search experiences. Instant search result pages. On an instant search page, searchable items are refreshed instantly at each keystroke. The user has all the room to analyze results that are returned and to refresh the search if necessary. A key strength of this search UI is the size of the display area. Because it's a full page experience, you will have much more room to display large pictures showcasing the result or play with font to make the content engaging. That's one of the reasons instant search is so successful for e-commerce websites. Another key aspect of the instant search experience is the refinement that you can provide to the user to help narrow down results even more. With Algolia, refinements can be defined in the index settings and returned dynamically for each query. The big benefit is that you show only valid filters to the users with useful additional information like the number of hits for a given facet. Algolia's mission is to help developers implement great search experiences in as little time as possible. To help shorten the development time needed, we have created a variety of JavaScript libraries to help you assemble and customize your search user interface. Autocomplete.js is the fastest way to add an autocompletion drop-down menu to your search box. This simple yet powerful library will allow you to display suggestions to end users as they type and use custom template for UI flexibility and displaying rich results. The library is available as a jQuery plugin an angular.js directive, or as a standalone library. Instancer.js is a JavaScript library of UI widgets for building an instant search experience using the Algolia.js API client. A search results page is made up of individual UI components, also known as widgets, for either the search input, search bar, facets, filters, or the search output, actual results. User experience best practices come baked into those widgets available, allowing you to harness our search expertise. Additionally, the modular design of instancesearch.js allows you to configure, rearrange, and combine the widgets to build your own experience. Here are the main widgets available out of the box. The search bar, facets, filter, pagination, sort, range slider, display results, and much more. Those widgets should cover most needs, but in case you have a very specific behavior in mind, you can also design your own custom widgets. Instant Search is available in the following flavors. Vanilla.js, React, React Native, Angular, Vue.js, Android, and iOS. In this video, we've covered the two main search UX patterns, the autocomplete drop-down menu and the Instant Search result page. We then detailed Algolia's front-end libraries, Helper.js, Autocomplete.js, and Instancer.js, and showed how they can help you build powerful user search experiences faster. In the following video, we will build a complete search interface from scratch using the Instancer library. Let's get coding.